In this video demonstration, we're going to look at how to create a list view. And a list view is something that enables us to display a long list of items. So for our example, we're going to create an array or a list of president's names and have it dynamically create our list view. And then when you tap on one of the items in the list, we're just going to display a toast but you can see how we can create a response to one of the list items being selected. In order to create our example of a list view, I've created a new project and just named it List View Demo and opened up the main Java file. And I haven't made any changes to this project at all. So to begin with, our main class extends activity. We're going to revise that to instead to be extends a list activity. So the list activity class extends the activity class and it displays a list of items by binding it to a data source. Now we haven't gotten that yet. We'll set that up in a minute. So there's no need to modify the main XML file in order to include the list view because the list activity class contains a list view. So in our onCreate method, we don't need the setContentView method to load the main file. So we can, I'm just going to comment this out so that you can see that this is what's going to be removed. And let's import the list activity, and that should take care of those other errors. So our list activity is going to give us a list based on being bound to a data source. So I'm going to create a data source here. And just to keep it simple, we're going to create a, a string of some information. And we're going to do a list of presidents. So I'm going to pause this while I finish including in some presidents. So I've completed the list of presidents which is an array of strings, and we want our list activity to be able to take each of these individual strings from the array and display it in our list view. And in order to do that, we're going to, in the onCreate method, we're going to use the setListAdapter method, and this is going to programmatically fill our entire screen with a list view and we're going to use an array adapter to manage the array string that will populate it. So we're going to create a new array adapter and the type of data is string and the context is this and we're going to go to the layout or our main XML file and the style that we're looking for is we're just going to do a simple list item and the data that we're binding it to is presidents. So I need to import my array adapter in. And now if I save and uh, run this in my emulator, okay, it has populated it and I have a scrolling list of all of the presidents from my array. So right now, when I tap these, nothing happens. We don't have anything set up to react to that particular action. So let's go back in and set up the onListItemClick method. And what that is going to do is recognize when something is tapped in the list view and do something. And in our case, we're just going to have it display a toast. So I'm going to paste that code in. And I need to import in a few things. So uh, on list item click. So when something on the list has been tapped or click, this method is going to be called. And we're using the list view. It's the parent. And it gets the position. In other words, the order, you know, the first option, the second option, the third option in our list. And what we're doing is just making a toast, saying you have selected presidents. So the president's string array up here, position. So it would recognize the position number based in here on which list item was selected. And then we can match that up with the number that it is in the array. 
and then we show that in the toast. So let me save this and we'll run it again. So now this time, tap and we have our toast. So from this you can see a basic way of creating data that we can bind to. So in this, our data is just a, a simple array of presidents' names. And we have a list adapter that uses that array to display the information in this particular format. And then the onList item click method is going to react to when something in there is selected. And we're just doing a simple toast so that we can learn how to start to access this content.